Hello everyone and welcome to Amasupti Webcast. In the fifth part of this video series on how to migrate Active Directory infrastructure from Windows Server 2003 to Windows Server 2019, we are going to see how to migrate DHCP server from Server 2003 to Windows Server 2019. I hope you guys have already watched the first four parts of this video series. If you haven't watched them, then please watch those four videos first. This is our current scenario. In that, in the last video, we have successfully transferred shared folders from Server 2003 to Server 2019. The only thing which is remaining is the DHCP server role. In this video, we will migrate this DHCP server role from Server 2003 to Server 2019. So let's go to our DHCP server first. This is our Windows Server 2003 computer. Let's open DHCP management console. Let's expand our server. Let's expand scope. And let's click on address pool. Here you can see we have address pool starting from 50.30 to 50.230. Let's click on address list. Here you can see whatever clients those are getting IP address from this DHCP server will be listed here. Uh, for this demonstration, already I have created two reservations so we can verify on a Windows Server 2019 as well. Let's click on scope options here. As you can see, the information about gateway's IP address, DNS server's IP address, and our DNS domain name is listed here. Let's check on our Windows 7 client computer. Let's open command prompt. Let's type command ipconfig slash all. And here you can see this computer is getting IP address from DHCP server. And the DHCP server's IP address is 192.168.50.5. That means this client is getting IP address from our Windows Server 2003 DHCP server. Before we start the migration of this DHCP server, first of all, I'm going to take backup of the server. So in case if something happen, we can restore the backup of this DHCP server. So let's select backup and I'm going to store this backup on a C drive. Let's create a new folder. With the name DHCP backup, select it and click on OK. Let's verify that we have a backup on a C drive. Okay, so backup is there. Fine. Let's close this console. Now, to start migrating this DHCP server, first of all, we need to open command prompt. Okay, let's type command cd slash. Let's clear the screen. And first of all, I'm going to type command nata sage. Let's press enter key. For DHCP related task, we need to specify DHCP and now we need to connect to the server. But first of all, I'm going to take help. Here you can see server command is also there. So I'm going to specify server. If you are connecting a remote server, that time you have to specify the IP address of that DHCP server like this way. But we are connecting to the local machine. That's why we don't need to specify the IP address. We simply need to press enter key. Now we are connected with the our uh, local DHCP server. Let's again take help. Here we need to run command export to export DHCP configuration to a file. Now we need to specify the file name. I'm going to specify E drive. Then let's specify name 2K3 DHCP DB. Space, I'm typing all because we are going to export all configuration settings into this file. Now let's press enter key. Okay, then command completed successfully. Now on Windows Server 2019 computer, first of all, we need to install DHCP server role. Then we need to run the same commands on that server. Instead of export command on that server, we need to use import command. Fine, so this will be the thing which we need to do on our Windows Server 2019 computer. Uh, I'm going to close this. Let's open my computer and let's check on E drive. Do we have file or not? As you can see, we have that file 2 k 3 dhcp db. We need to copy this file on our Server 2019 computer. So let's go to our Server 2019 computer. First of all, I'm going to install DHCP server role. Let's click on add rules and features. On before you begin screen, we have to click on next. Select role based or feature based installation. Click on next. Select the local server. In our case, it is WS2K19-FS01. Let's click on next. Here, I'm going to select DHCP server and then let's select the checkbox. Click on add feature. Click on next. Next again. Next again. And click on install. 
Okay, as you can see, DSCP server rule has been installed successfully. Let's click on complete DSCP configuration to start DSCP post configuration wizard. Let's click on next. And already I have logged in as a domain admin, so we have a sufficient credential to register this DSCP server in Active Directory. Let's click on commit. Let's click on close and close again. So we have successfully installed DSCP server rule on this computer. After installing DSCP server rule on server 2019, the next thing which we need to do is to import that configuration file on this DSCP server. Now already I have copied that file from our server 2003 computer on a C drive. As you can see that configuration file is there, 2k3 DHCP DB. Let's minimize it and I'm going to minimize this server manager dashboard as well. But before we import that configuration file, I want to stop the DHCP service on server 2003 computer. So let's right click here, all task and click on stop. And even if you want, you can uninstall that DHCP service from this computer as well. Let's go to server 2019 computer. Let's open the windows PowerShell. CD slash, let's clear the screen. Now here we need to run command natasearch DHCP. And here we are receiving message that in future version of Windows, Microsoft might remove the NAT SH functionality for the TSCP server. Uh, in a newer version of Windows system, we have other PowerShell CM deletes to export and import DSCP server related configuration. But we are importing the configuration file from server 2003, that's why we are not able to use it. To connect local server, we need to specify server, then after we need to press enter key. Fine, now we are connected with our local server. Now it's time to run command import. And then after we need to specify the path of that configuration file. In our case, it is C colon 2k3 DHCP DB. Let's verify the name. It is uh, 2k3 DHCP DB. Fine, let's minimize it. And now I'm going to press enter key. Okay, command completed successfully. Let's open DHCP management console to verify the same thing. Let's click on tools. Let's click on DHCP management console. Let's expand it. Let's expand IP version 4. And here we go. Here we have a scope options. This is the scope which we have. And under scope, if we click on address pool, here we can see the same scope pool is there. Let's click on address list. The same lazy information is available here. If we expand reservation, then those both reservations are here. If we click on scope options, then the same scope options information is there. That means we have successfully migrated DHCP server rule from server 2003 to server 2019. Let's close this. Let's close server manager console as well. And let's close PowerShell as well. Now I'm going back on server 2003 computer. Let's uninstall DHCP server rule from this computer. Let's run command appvis.cpl. Click on add and remove windows component. Find networking. Click on details and let's clear the checkbox for DHCP. Let's click on OK. Click on next and that's it. Click on finish and then DHCP server load has been successfully uninstalled from this server 2003 computer. Let's go back on our client computer. I'm going to release the IP address and I'm going to renew it. And as you can see, our client get IP address 192.168.50.30. But let's confirm the main thing. Let's run command IP config slash all. And here the most important thing is that we can see DHCP server's address is 192.168.50.10. So that means now this client computer is getting IP address from our server 2019 DHCP server. So this is the way how we can migrate DHCP server from Windows Server 2003 to Windows Server 2019. That means we have successfully migrated. DSAP server rule from server 2003 to server 2019. So in the next video, we will demote Windows Server 2003 domain controller from our existing Active Directory forest. That's it for this video demonstration. Thank you all 
for watching this video. If you have any questions and queries related to this videos and if you have any suggestion as well, feel free to post in comment section. Thank you all for watching this video.